Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Eco Stage, powered by TLMI. Um, I'm Rosalind Bandy. I have the privilege of leading sustainability for TLMI. And our next speaker was supposed to be from IPS Bailers, uh, a true bailing expert and manufacturer. Unfortunately, our speaker is quite ill today and so is not here. But we have a stand-in who is also an expert on Baylor's, and that is Calvin Frost, who's the chairman of Channeled Resources Group. And so he is going to give you an overview of different types of Baylor's for any job you might have. So let's give a hand for Calvin who is on the spot standing in. Thank you, Roz. Marco, I'm glad you're here because you know more about billers than I do, so you can correct me when I make a mistake. The real message, it seems to me, is that if you're going to ship something any distance at all, let's say over 50 miles, you need to package it. And packaging is, comes in a lot of different forms. Ted talked about them this morning. You can put it in Gaylords, it can be in rolls, it can be on skids and pallets. But honestly, if you're going to ship something over 50 miles, you really need to package it. And the best method of packaging is bailing. Matrix is a really good example because Matrix is essentially 50% air. Whether it's paper or film, it's 50% air. You've got to get the air out. You don't want to be paying to ship air from point A to point B. There's also the issue of safety. Ted, for example, is receiving 7,000 tons a month of material. He has people unloading 24-7 unloading trailers 24-7. These materials have to be unloaded in a safe and easy, efficient way. Safety becomes a major issue. Bailing is the answer to that. So I'm just going to show you some different bailers. And if you've got questions, this is interactive, so please ask them. And we'll start right here. I hope we're going to start right here. different types of bailers. For I think I've talked about that. This is a closed door horizontal baler. And notice there's no automatic tie. This is manually tied. And this baler is probably seventy-five dollars to $80,000, brand new. Obviously, companies are selling uh, used equipment. But this will give you an idea of, of cost. This is a two ram baler that's used mostly in MRFs. Uh, waste paper companies are using these. I would say that a packaging company or a brand owner that's generating release liner or a label company that's generating matrix would not want this. But this is to give you an idea of the variety of balers. And this machine is probably upwards of a couple of hundred thousand dollars maybe a half million dollars. So we're going from, at this point, about 50,000 all the way up to a half a million. And some of these high-speed, high-density bailers can run over a million dollars. This is a kind of baler that we actually have in our Wisconsin plant. This is an automatic, this is a horizontal auto-tie baler. If you're buying one of these brand new, uninstalled, you're going to pay $150,000. You'll justify this if your volumes are at a certain level. And the neat thing about this is the materials that are being generated on your presses, matrix, goes into an air system. And you heard yesterday from Marco about how those air systems work. It goes into a central collection system, into a cyclone, and then down into this baler, 
where it actually automatically ties the bale off. So you're not putting any labor into it. It's efficient. The bale is ejected. And as the bale comes out, your forklift operator comes over, picks up the bale, never touches it, picks up the bale, and puts it into a truck that's sitting on site. And we do this actually with Convergent Energy today. Uh, we will load other materials in that trailer, but these materials, horizontal, automatic tie, again, a cost of around $150,000, $175,000, brand new. There are used, used, uh, used tailors on the market, of course. Horizontal closed door, uh, hinge side baler series. Um, this again would be probably used in a MRF or in a waste paper processing company, not in a uh, a label uh, a label company, a converter's operation. Now this is probably the cheapest baler out there. It's a vertical downstroke baler. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. There was a woman this morning who was uh, from St. Louis and she was trying to figure out how to get her limited volume, 20 tons a month, packaged so she could ship from St. Louis to Green Bay. Her starting point would be this baler. And these balers you can actually buy used at around $7,500. This new baler is probably $12,000, $13,000, brand new. Essentially, you're manually loading it. A lot of people use these downstroke balers for corrugated. Uh, there was a paper mill earlier that we were chatting with. He has two or three throughout the mill, and people are taking corrugated boxes, wrappers, and baling those in these, and then accumulating in a storage area. But if you have matrix, which is again the product we're talking about, they can be, you can manually load it, the platinum comes down, you hand tie these bales with baling wire, and again, one thing to keep in mind when you package your material is the unit of measurement that Ted actually is looking at is 20 tons, 40,000 pounds. And you can do it with this kind of baler, you can do it with the one we have in our plant, but you cannot do it if you don't package your material. So the company that was going to present is IPS. Um, and uh, unfortunately, as Rods mentioned, uh, he got sick, the uh, person that was going to make the presentation. And so that's really all I have. I can tell you that if you're generating byproduct, and I don't like to use the word waste, and most of you know that, byproduct is something that can be used. Waste is something that goes to a landfill. And if we can get this industry to talk about byproduct, not waste, because all of these materials we generate, whether it's liner or matrix, all of these materials are byproduct. They can be used, whether it's for repulping or whether it's for making energy. But unless you package it, unless you make it efficient in your plant, if we add more cost in terms of labor, all we've done is to create a problem. You must package your materials in an efficient, careful, safe manner. And to me, failing is the way to go. Thank you, and happy to answer any, uh, answer any, any questions. Any questions about bailers for Calvin? All right, well, Calvin, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for standing in uh, for IPS Baylor's. Um, greatly appreciate it. Thank you.